Last week, Marvel finally gave us some details on their upcoming event, Secret Empire. Starting in April, this will see the culmination of Nick Spencer's run on Captain America, which for the past year has had Steve Rogers as an agent of Hydra. Now, Marvel's track record with event comics recently hasn't exactly been the best. Could this be the one that changes all of that? Maybe? I don't know. Let's discuss. <laughs> In case you weren't aware, there are currently two Captain Americas in the Marvel Universe. The original Steve Rogers and the former Falcon Sam Wilson. Both characters have their own solo comics currently hitting the market today. And both of those comics are written by Nick Spencer. In May of 2016, in the first issue of the Steve Rogers book, we learn that he is in fact currently an agent of Hydra through cosmic cube shenanigans, obviously. Now, over the past year, the general Marvel Universe as a whole has been pretty unaware of the whole thing. Despite Steve Rogers doing some pretty evil stuff, he's more or less kept this a secret from everybody. And now it looks like the sequel will be out come April when Secret Empire is released. Written by Nick Spencer with a rotating team of artists, which hopefully means not a lot of delays, this nine issue mini series will see Steve Rogers' evil plan with Hydra come to fruition and will show how the heroes of the Marvel Universe deal with such a devastating discovery. Okay, so when Marvel first announced this event back in January, I wasn't really interested. Their past few events haven't really been all that good with the exception of Secret Wars, and for the most part, they've been relying heavily on hero versus hero. With very few exceptions, pretty much every one of Marvel's major events since the first Civil War has been about heroes fighting each other. And we just got done with Civil War II, and we're currently in the middle of Inhumans vs. X-Men. Speaking of Civil War II, I think it's pretty safe to assume that that series left a bad taste in everybody's mouths, especially with regards to how they handled Captain Marvel. She pretty much became the de facto villain of the series, leading people to their deaths and arresting clearly innocent people all because she believes a psychic that has been proven incorrect time and time again. But Secret Empire might actually be different from all the previous Marvel events. For one thing, there's a natural build to this. Most event comics from Marvel and DC to be fair, don't really have any sort of natural build to them. They'll usually maybe get like a month or two lead up to it, but other than that, you don't really get much. The event just starts. Nick Spencer, on the other hand, has been sowing the seeds for Secret Empire for over a year now. And he's the one actually writing the event, unlike most event books where they just get a top talent to come in and write for characters they haven't written for in a while and try to hobble together, you know, bits and pieces of other people's books. Also, the whole point of hero vs. hero events is to make you think. There's supposed to be shades of gray in both sides of the argument, and it's supposed to make you feel like either one of them could be right. I mean, that's supposed to be the point. Unfortunately, usually what happens is one side becomes the villain or both sides wind up looking like assholes. But it seems like with Secret Empire, Steve Rogers is the villain, no questions asked. He may be under some sort of cosmic cube spell, but that doesn't negate the fact that he's been doing evil stuff for well over a year. Plus this may actually have some emotional weight to it. Steve Rogers is supposed to be the ultimate pillar of good in the Marvel Universe, somebody that every single person looks up to. Finding out not only that he's a Hydra agent, but he's planning a massive Chitauri invasion will definitely leave people upset and in disbelief. It might just be the sort of thing people won't be able to forgive once the cosmic cube effects wear off. That is if he survives the event. I don't want to say this is a spoiler because I have no idea what's going to happen in this story and I haven't even read it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Rogers dies at the end of this event. Maybe he snaps out of it and makes the ultimate sacrifice. Maybe a hero gets fed up and takes things too far. I honestly don't know. If anything, it would make Ulysses' vision from Civil War II actually means something instead of just being some stupid vision that he always has. But what do you guys think about Secret Empire? Do you think this could actually be really good or do you think this is following the same trend of previous Marvel events? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. Can't say I'll be following this one intensely, but I'll definitely be keeping my eye on it. This may just be Marvel's most important event since Secret Wars and it may actually have lasting impact that actually means something. Or it could suck. We just gotta wait and see. Of course, new videos every Tuesday and Wednesday. And don't forget, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern is Wolf Den Live right here on our YouTube channel. You can come watch us, you can talk to us right then and there. Technology is wonderful. Don't worry if you miss it, you can catch the rerun on Thursday and also an audio format on iTunes, SoundCloud, 
and Google Play. Also, don't forget we have a new show called The Backlog. Bob and I go through our games collection, pick a game, and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. Those go up on Saturday. We've done two so far. We're going to have a new one this week and then a new one next week. And if you like them, we'll keep doing them. And as always, guys, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.